what what made Andre so special? Well, uh, the guy was about as honest as you could find. He had a, a very honest personality. If if he liked you, you were in good graces and you lived a good life. If he didn't like you, you didn't stand a chance. So I'd have to say if there was the one thing that I really appreciated about uh, Andre through the years was his honesty, both personally and certainly and professionally when you got a lot of guys kind of shuffling around and kind of nutty business to begin with. So that's my story on him, and I'm sticking to it. Is there something that maybe that, you know, we wouldn't know as the fan about Andre that you learned getting to know him over the years? Well, you would have think he hit the buffet or McDonald's or something like that, but uh, that's not the case at all. Andre uh, Andre had a very refined uh, uh, culinary appetite. I know in New York and L.A., when we would go out to the restaurants, it was always the finest French restaurants. So I, I don't think people knew that Andre uh, owned a restaurant in Montreal, and he was a, a big fan of French cooking. Uh, there was a place in Greenwich, Connecticut called the La Bretagne. French waiters, French uh, ownership and cooks and chefs, but uh, Andre's sitting there and was all it was all the uh, uh, body organs, a heart, the kidney, the liver, you know, things like that. And, uh, oh, tongue. I forgot to mention that. But Andre... <laughs> Andre had kind of a, a, a nutty uh, appetite, and uh, he appreciated good food when you look, and good wine. Yeah, but we see the stories about that. He was one that was able to consume a lot of a lot of liquor. You can <clears throat> confirm those uh, stories. Well, I don't know if I, I, I he can't get to me now, but uh, uh, I did try to stand toe to toe with him on a couple of occasions, and uh, trust me, uh, I got bent on that, Steve. I never made it. 